Great. All right. Good. Now, in just a moment, you will see Linda. She can see and hear you just as she would if she were sitting right across from you there in the room. Start your conversation. You can say end or pause at any time, and I will be right here on the other side waiting for you. Enjoy. Hi, Linda. Hi. How are you? Um, well, I, I mean, I, it's only Wednesday and I, I feel like it's been a week and a half already. It's just been a little crazy. And I'm sure you heard about that whole thing with Lee and I'm just a little frustrated right now. Yeah, I, I did. I, I'm sorry to hear. I'm sorry to hear about that. It sounds like you're you're pretty bothered um, by that. You know, it's it's typically not um, your character, I think, to to have an outburst like that. So I called you in to me because I want to find out a little bit more about what happened and and maybe uh, get underneath the the hood around that. Can you say a little bit more about what happened, Linda? Well, sure. You know, McManus is a very important client of ours, and we got an email on Monday that said they needed this by the end of the day on mm -hmm. Tuesday. So I, it really should have gone to Lee. It was in his wheelhouse. It was what he should have been working on. And I reached out to him. I sent him emails mm -hmm. and slacks and messages and texts. Linda, I tried, I promise. But the man never got back to me. So I had to do this on my own. Had to do it on my own. I got it out there in time, finally. And then as I was walking out at the end of the day yesterday, I, I see Lee sitting at his desk. And he's sitting there watching a stupid cat video a cat video i Linda? Uh, Linda? i was so Linda? i gave him a little direct feedback and now he's acting like i'm the one that did something wrong Ugh. okay Lin linda it, again yes. it sounds like you're pretty frustrated and and i can i think there's a part of me that can really understand and empathize with that you're right they are a huge customer of ours and we definitely don't want to you know lose them um, and it also sounds like you did everything that you could do to try to speak with, with Lee. It, it sounds to me like, you know, you took all the right avenues. So I want to first acknowledge mm -hmm. that. Um, Thank you. I think the second, oh, you're welcome. Um, I think the second part for me is that uh, we really do try to work as a team. Um, and you know, that's a huge part of our culture. Um, let me ask you this, is there, have you thought about maybe if there was something going on with Lee that day where, you know, the, given the fact that he was unreachable, that maybe something else might've been going on for him? H had you considered that? Hmm. Um, honestly, uh, no, I really hadn't. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I just know that I tried for, a day and a half, I felt like, and, and and I got nothing, and I felt it was disrespectful of him not to to get back, and he yeah. say he couldn't do it, and so I yeah. was I was pretty wound up when I saw him, to tell you the it, truth. Yeah, and I can tell um, just from our conversation right now that you know you're still pretty much affected by it, and and I, what I'd like to do is try to problem solve around that. It sounds like. Um, you know, you, you have some empathy for Lee and by your own admission, you hadn't thought whether there was something else going on for him. And um, what I'd like to do is try to problem solve with you, get some input from you. So, so that doesn't happen again um, for a number of reasons. Um, how does that sound to you? Yeah, I, I mean, I really hadn't, considered it that way until you you asked what could have been going on with him and honestly I didn't mm -hmm. ask but I mean he had ignored me and and I feel like Lee and I really have not been communicating well for a while now uh -huh. I'm uh-huh yeah yeah that that's important communication is is really an important thing so what can we do because I really want your input here um, again so 
the for me the outcome is for this not to happen again and i think that 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 would be the same for you you are a really conscientious worker and um i think you would agree with me that it, it it's something that we just shouldn't happen again particularly as it pertains to a a huge com a customer first thing i want to do is thank you thank you for taking on that load thank you for carrying it through to the end um but Linda, work with me here. Give me some thoughts about what you think we could do to avoid that that kind of situation the next next go around. Because I believe your input is really important here, and I want I want you to feel supported as well. I, I really appreciate that, Linda. And I think to that end, we just need to. It needs to be established what's expected of each of us as a team member and the communication mm -hmm. that is needed between us. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, as we're sitting here talking, I, I guess I, I'm realizing I didn't really expect best intentions. So I didn't check in to see if there was some reason why he wasn't available. But, you know, I, I think I was really thrown when I saw him. It wasn't that I saw him sitting there doing work, he was doing something personal. And so it just, that was like the straw that broke the camel's back for me at the time, you know? Yeah, Linda, Linda, I, I just wanna, I wanna call out something that I'm noticing. And um, I think it's important for all of us on this team to, to kind of recognize and take accountability for our own behavior. This is something that happened a couple of days ago you confirmed that it was something that really bothered you. I can see that it's still bothering you. I, 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 in the spirit of um, teamwork and collaboration and moving forward, um, there's a couple of things that I, I need to say to you as a manager. Um, from a behavioral perspective, it's, it's really unacceptable to have that kind of outburst, particularly in the space where other team members can see it. It's just not a good look for the company. And it's not a good look for you, Linda. You are so talented. Your skill set is so valued on this team. And I think people look up to you. I think people see you as a, a role model. Does that sound kind of in the wheelhouse for you as well? Would you agree um, with something like that? I, I, I wow, that's, um, that's a, a, a lot to take in, Linda. And and first off, mm -hmm. you, thank you for what you said. And and I hope that I can achieve that and that I reach that goal. This is, you know, I'm driven. You know, I'm direct. You know that I yes. really care about the work, and Absolutely. and that's where it Absolutely. where my drive comes from. But I um, I just I never. Gosh, I I. I guess I, I, Linda? I just got Linda? so wound up and I'm sorry. I never want to do yeah. anything that's going to look well, negatively on me or the company. Here's the thing. I know that. I know that about you. And that's why I felt like I could have a transparent conversation with you about it. And my intent is not to upset you. My intent is to show you a different side. I think if the tables were switched, I would be saying the same thing to Lee. I want you to know that as well. You are a valued member of this team. I think people look up to you. Um, and I want you to continue challenging and pushing yourself to be the best Linda you could be. Now, I asked you a question at the beginning of the session. I wanna cycle back to that. I need you to help me problem solve this. What kind of things do you think we could do? What kind of things do you think we could do together to prevent this from happening again with you and Lee or any other colleague. I really would value your input here. No, I, I really appreciate it. Th thank you so much. And I think to your point, some of the things we've even already touched on, which is probably assuming best intentions, uh, making certain that if communication is lacking, that I don't let that bubble up uh, mm -hmm. to make me fail in my communication skills in return. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think I need to own that. Um, so thank you. Yeah, I am I am very direct and I appreciate your directness. Um, it, it's hard to hear sometimes, but I, I think that's yes. what we need. And I guess I just need to, to do the same with Lee and, and be very Excellent. honest and direct and say, well, hey, listen, I, I really needed to hear from you. Let's talk about what happened. Uh, can, we, can we sit down and talk? 
एक्स 